Bears win big today in the battle of the final two teams in the South Atlantic Conference without a conference loss, 51 to 30 over Limestone between the bricks. Eric Bach here with head football coach Mike Jacobs. And coach, it really was, once again, a pretty team, a pretty complete team performance. Your offense only punts twice. You run for almost 280 yards. Sean White, super efficient today. Can you just give an overall assessment of the day between the bricks? Yeah, super, super proud of our football team, man. I mean, our kids were locked in all week. Uh, our practice was fantastic, and it built on itself from Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. We had a real focus Friday, and I think you came out and, and you saw that in the first half. We went right down the field on them on the very first drive. I thought our offensive staff and their game plan was tremendous. Great to get our running game going a little bit. Um, you know, and not just not just Dewey, right? Zaire Dillard had a big day for us, uh, both running and he caught a big screen pass. So um, really pleased with them. We scored a touchdown again on special teams. And, and to me, that was a critical play because, you know, to Limestone's credit, they came out second half, went right down the field, and that put a big damper on, the, on their uh, momentum, taking that kickoff back. So all in all, defense had a couple big stops. I think we had, what, three takeaways today. So, you know, just a really complete game and uh, proud of our guys, man. Sean White goes 17 for 22, throws for nearly 300 yards, five total touchdowns. He has gone from maybe a game manager when he first got into the game to now really taking command of this offense and leading this offense to explosive plays. And that is what he has, that's what he did today. Sean's doing a fantastic job of taking what the defense gives him, of managing our offense, making sure we're aligned correctly. Um, I think he's done a great job in his preparation. And again, you're seeing it week to week, his just incremental improvement. And uh, just it's, it's really fun to watch. And your defense takes it away three times in the first half, really stifles their momentum. You said we know that Limestone was going to be able to score some points. They're a really good offense. They do so in the second half. But every time the Saints did something well, you guys had the answer. We had the answer, and that, that was critical. And, you know, we had a little bit difficult time at times today getting off the field on third downs. But, um, you know, when you look at it, the takeaways, I don't, I don't think we had any. They had three. We controlled the line of scrimmage. We rushed for almost 272 yards, held them to under 100, held them to 99 uh, with really explosive running backs. And, and that's really the key to victory today. Now you guys are the last man standing without a loss in the sack. Obviously still pretty early in conference play. Going to Barton next week, I mean, it feels like you guys are building something here. You know, you started with the Carson Newman game last week against UVA Wise. Today the offense explodes. How do you build? And this is a Barton team that, that gave you guys a little bit of a scare last year there, but now going back there this year, how do you just keep on building on this momentum? Yeah, I mean, we're going to play a, a really well-coached team on the road, and our momentum – comes with our daily work. Our kids are excited about being talented and being good and practicing hard, and we'll come right back to work tomorrow and get to work on Barton. 4 p.m. kick next week at Barton, 51-30. to 30, Lenore Ryan with authority over Limestone today. Coach, enjoy it. Thank you. Go Bears. Big game today for Zaire Dillard as the Bears take down Limestone 51-30. to 30. Zaire takes a screen pass, 43 yards for a touchdown, rushes for 117 yards, averages over 15 yards per carry. Zaire, I want to talk about the screen play. The Red Sea just kind of parted there for you. Can you just walk me through that play? Well, I turned around, saw my old line pick up all the blocks, and it was just open. I kind of hesitated at first because, you know, when you're as a running back, when you see open ground, you like where to go. So I saw my, my old line block one this way, and my wide receiver block one this way, and I just hit it right off their off the butt. And you had several other explosive runs, especially in the second half. Talk to me about the way your O-line played in front of you and, and kind of the cuts you were making behind them. Well, they, they did a pretty good job blocking. You know, every time I got the ball, they just made it a clear way for me, so that made it easy for them. I didn't really have to, like, like make, like, if I go this way or should I go this way, which is they open and I just hit it. Tell me about the running back room because it's so deep. You got Dewey, you got Jadis Davis, you got you that can come in and kind of change the pace of the game. Can you tell me about kind of the camaraderie of that running back room and, and how you guys play off each other? It makes us compete better. We also got like freshmen that are also good too, but you know, since they coming in, we got they're like behind us, you know, so it's like it all makes us compete better. You know, we keep each other up, keep pushing each other. When somebody's down, we keep telling like, just keep going, like, you feel me? So we all just like keep making sure we keep competing. 
What does this win today mean for the team? Limestone was the only other team in the conference coming into today without a loss. Now you guys are the only ones. What does this win mean for this team and, and the momentum you have moving forward? We always go celebrate a dub, but like it's not finished yet. So like we're not we're not necessarily satisfied. Like we still want to like win out. So you know, but we ain't gonna never like you feel me. Like look at it. We're gonna celebrate it, but we're gonna make sure we keep getting the job done. Like a one no mentality, like uh, Coach Jake would say. Zaire Dillard and the Bears, a big win today, 51-30 to 30 between the bricks, going to Barton next week. Zaire, great game. Congrats on, congrats on it. Thanks. Here with Sean White after a 51-30 to 30 Lenore Ryan win over Limestone today. Sean accounted for five touchdowns, four through the air, one on the ground. And, Sean, feels like this has been a long time coming for this offense, a day like today. Can you just describe how the offense was clicking today? I think we had a great week of practice, and this, was, this game was – was something that we saw throughout the week as uh, something that was going to happen with how well we were playing in practice and we executed really well today. Seemed like you were just taking what the defense was giving you today and it led to explosive plays. Can you kind of talk about your mindset going into this game and how you were able to execute it today? They played a very similar defense to our defense and throughout fall camp it's a, it's a defense we played a lot and that's something that uh, that we played well today because we'd seen those looks and we'd seen how they played and, and we, p we played pretty well doing that. I want to ask you about your running back room because obviously a quarterback's best friend is a good running game. Everyone knows about Dwayne McGee. Zaire Dillard has a great game today. Jadis Davis as well. Can you talk about the comfort level that you have knowing that you can hand the ball, throw the ball to those three guys? I mean, all of our running backs are great. We have we have like a really, really deep running back room. They, they can run well, and then they also can block really well in the pass game, and they can catch the ball really well as well and make something happen with it. So moving forward now, how do you guys build off of this? You're the last team left in the sack without a conference loss. How do you move forward and keep on building? feels like you guys are building something special here. How do you keep it going? We just keep it rolling, and I think the main thing is to do is just have great game plans and just have great weeks of practices like we have. Every game that we've had a good game is we have great practices that week, so just keep it that way. Sean White and the Bears on the road next week at Barton trying to keep the good times rolling. Sean, great game today. Congrats. Thank you.